you know it's the right piece for you when you have an emotional response to something, something that you can't stop thinking about. Hi, my name is Jan Michael Kwame, and this is The Steel Shooter. In this episode of Steel Shoe, you will see how fashion and interior design come together and kind of live in the same space and the same capacity. When I think of capsule collection, I think about like keepsakes or very special novelty pieces that makes you feel a very like emotional response to the piece. Something that, you know, you may move cities like myself, but these are pieces that you will always take with you. In the pandemic, uh, when we were all in quarantine and had to be forced to stay home, I think I was also forced to be in a space that I felt like there was some opportunity to like make it nicer. So, and that's what I did. I just made it more of a home, put some things in there that I really, really enjoy. My personal relationship with interior at the moment is that I've been really incorporating interior design within my shoots. The common link between interior and fashion is expression. I think that you dress yourself the way you feel and you also dress your apartment the way you feel. Can you imagine you just move into your new apartment? Where does one start? Like how do you buy furniture? What is the piece that kind of like fills out the rest of your apartment? So the first important piece for me would be the couch. It's the practical part, but it should be a good couch. The second should be a nice rug that kind of like brings warmth. So it makes the apartment more personable, more intimate, a really nice lamp. I think the lamp would bring the architecture vibe and like the design aspect to the apartment. And then I think you have like a piece that's a bit more a matter of the heart, something that feels a bit more personal. I think it's really important to keep in mind when you're building your home is to have these elements that represent you, whether you're into like interior or architecture, design, or something that reminds you of home, your family, something that reminds you of your culture is really, really important. I also like to research the designer, where the designer's from, the other pieces that the designer made, like actually how inspiring is this person? I usually like designers who've made furniture like in the 40s and the 50s and the 60s and to see these pieces still kind of like living in mint condition. As far as like design furniture, I think I get my inspiration from first uh, social media. I follow a couple interior design sites like actually Architectural Digest. Um, and I remember they featured Lenny Kravitz's home and I really fell in love with like his design. And I think the other parts are just like first dibs just to see like, you know, how much these things cost and like how available it, it is to me. I also get inspiration from like friends' homes. Like my friend Mateo in Texas, his home is beautiful. I think you can find things from like your parents' place. I know friends that, you know, really got amazing pieces, vintage pieces from grandparents and parents. I think that farmers markets, like vintage markets as well. Um, I know here in Berlin on Sundays, they have like really amazing ones also in London. I think there's a couple sites like eBay. Be careful, you should, you know, double check that everything's real. But First Dibs is a really, really great um, valid site to like get, you know, amazing pieces from. You know it's the right piece for you when you have an emotional response to something, something that you can't stop thinking about. So the Togo by Lene Rose is a blush pink color. It's the two piece. Um, I couldn't get anything more than that because my apartment can't fit anything else, but I made the two piece work. It is velvet. I actually brought it from my friend who had you know, the entire set. The togo makes me feel weirdly girly because it's pink, but you know, it's playful and girly. It's cute. Light is super important. I think really bad lighting in an apartment can really like ruin someone's mood, it ruins my mood. So my lamp from 
Atelier Arete is really chic. It's probably one of the most minimal objects that I have in my apartment because everything else is so like traditional or ethnic or cultural. And this one is like the, you know, very minimalistic piece. The vase is really interesting. It's from my friend, Hannah who has a ceramic company in Brazil. It's in the shape of a very bodacious woman's body. And I love it because it just shows like confidence, womanhood, and femininity in all in one. The vase is actually also a carafe. It comes with like three or four baby cups that are in the shape of a woman's bottom. And I just think it's so sexy and cool. My Persian rug is multicolored and it has like a lot of like uh, reddish and tones of pink and red. It reminds me of my childhood. I grew up with Persian rugs at home and as soon as I had the moment to get one, I got one. I have actually a couple. It's an intimate piece for me um, and I love it. So the one bit of advice that I would love to leave with you guys is that to build a home, it takes time. Don't rush it, you know, it can be a year, it can be two years. You know, you just do as little as you can as you go. Don't be in a rush to just like, you know, throw everything in there because I think that would also like lack personality and character. You know, take your time when you're building your home. So guys, this is my still show it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more, just check it out.